Hello, Chris Geyer here again with Storage Point. Today, we're going to be talking about upgrading to SharePoint 2010 through a new database attach. The first thing we're going to do is restore the 2007 content database that we've backed up. I'm going to do that through SQL Server Manager here, find our content database, and restore it to our SQL Server that's going to be used for our SharePoint 2010 database. I'm going to make sure it overwrites the existing. It's not there, but just want to be safe here. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and let that run through its process of restoring it to SQL Server. Now this is a relatively small one, so the, the larger databases may go a little bit slower than that. But once that's complete, it is actually a database within SQL Server, but uh, SharePoint's not going to know about it. We're going to need to perform a couple more steps. But the next thing we need to do is also restore our storage point database from our 2007 environment. There's my storage point database. I want to make sure that I restore it to the storage point database that's already there. Oops and make sure it overwrites the content that's there. One of the important pieces is that storage point already be installed uh, on your 2010 server. So it's going to overwrite uh, the, the basic defaults that are there, but also import all the profiles and endpoints and all that kind of fun stuff uh, that was from our 2007 server. There, that one's complete. Once my database is actually in SQL, I need to run a PowerShell command for SharePoint to mount that as a content database. If I paste my command in here that I've already written, I can use the mount SP content database command, provide it the database name, in this case WSS underscore content, the database server, and the web application that this content database will be used for. You can see that there with HTTP forward slash forward slash SP2010. Now that last piece on there of dash update user experience is the important piece to perform the user experience upgrade that will make that content database look and feel like 2010 once I'm browsing into it. Once again, as you saw in the uh, database restore, uh, it went pretty fast. This database is pretty small, so we'll see this one zip through fairly fast. Uh, for those of you that have very large content databases, some of these pieces uh, will take longer depending on how many uh, items that are in there. This database is a storage point uh, enabled database, so none of the actual blobs are in the database. This is all just metadata. The blobs are actually on a, a NAS device on the network, so that a lot of this upgrading piece uh, will go significantly faster uh, regardless of, of the amount of content that, that you have in it, simply because the blobs themselves are remoted. When it's done, we should see a completed message, and it'll give you some, some basic information uh, about what it did, and that's when you'll know that uh, it's safe to move on in the process. There we go. You can see that it's complete. I get the name as well as the number of sites in that database that it just mounted. Now that we have the database restored and mounted, I can browse back to my SharePoint site here and view all the site content. You can see the lists and libraries that are there, but this is pretty much uh, a demo site. But it does have content in there, and it is storage point enabled. So I can go to one of my items and click the storage point details and see that it's uh, externalized to my NAS and I can see the details there. Now if we go to central administration and I can take a look at some of these storage point settings, take a look at the storage profiles, I see the profiles are there. I can take a look at the details and it shows that it's externalized to my NAS. But I can also go and take a look at my endpoints and see that one NAS is already there and set up. 
but I also have to go to some of the ones that may be local in this case a demo machine but uh, you may not have those that are local etc so I can go to to that and change where that blob may be located just because of my upgrade I might have moved those around I can type in that URL and test out to make sure that the location I move things to is still accessible and save those so once you see this save you'll see how I want to handle that and since I've already taken the liberty of moving those blobs I just want to update that URL and you can see once I do that it shows the free space and it's accessible and once I do that my upgrade is complete. There, hopefully that helped you understand what goes into a DB attach upgrade process for 2010 with storage point involved. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have questions or comments, certainly drop us a line and let us know. Chris Geyer signing off.